Hello everyone, Merry Christmas! Today is 24th of December 2018. This is my 14th episode about Windows API. In this episode, we will learn how to get CPU counts in C++ language. More specifically, we will learn about the system information functions. Click this link. And also click this link, get system info function. And also is process feature present function, click this link. Also please click this link. I will put this script in the description section below. Please click this link. Then a file will be downloaded on your machine like this. We will learn about system information functions listed here. We will not deal all functions. We will just deal with get system info function and is process feature present function. We will use this and these two functions in this session. When your download is complete, show in folder. Please unzip it and rename the folder. Include like this. Then in Visual C++ 2015, new project Visual C++ Win32 Cancel Application. Project name will be System Information. And solution name will be System Information Solution. Like this. Click OK. Click Finish. From Download Folder, copy this folder, right click. Copy and paste it to your working folder. In this solution, paste. In Visual Studio again, right click the project, properties, general, make sure all configuration, all platforms selected, additional include directory. Solution, DIR, include, then click OK. In header file, right click, add existing item, go up, include, select the system info UTIR, add, then once again source files, right click, add existing, System info util cxx add then right click this cpp file right click properties general make sure all computation all platform selected exclude from build select yes okay click ok then the icon will be changed like this Save in STDAFX file include system info UTIR dot H save in STDAFX include sys info UTIR CXX. Please select CXX. Save. Save all. Right click, close all but this. If you click class view, if class view is not displayed, go to view. Then you can select class view to open class view pane. Click this link, then select talk play fun. If you click this link, then you can see functions like this. Among the functions, we will first learn how to use print functions starting with the print here void print my system information i created a function then print my system information function this is namespace talk play fun talk play fun print processor type like this talk play fun print Process architecture, std, cout, std, and there, 
then talk play fun print processor type talk play fun print system information please note that this is global function this is defined in talk play fun these are different functions press ctrl f5 sorry i list it twice talk play fun print processor feature i fixed like this i will change order fixed like this then ctrl f5 then if you scroll up your process type intel pentium your process architecture is intel system information here, number of processors is 4. 4 processors are in my machine. Page size is 4096, 4 kilobyte. Allocation granularity, this is 64 kilobyte. Minimum application address, something like this. These are the features supported in my machine. For example, XMMI64 is supported on my machine, but uh, 3d now instruction is not available on my machine close it so this is some print functions listed here now i change the platform to x64 then i compile again ctrl f5 if i scroll up then now your process type is intel amd x8664 and your process architecture is AMD64. So the information displayed is a little bit different from the ones that I built with x86. So depending on platform, the information can be a little bit different. Now close it. Now we will learn how to use these get functions. A list of get functions defined here. I will show you how to use void, how to use get functions i will disable this function how to use get functions i will call this function now std cout talk play fun get get allocation granularity std and there then i will put text here prompt text allocation granularity std see out talk play fun get maximum address std and there std see out talk play fun get minimum address std and there std see out talk play fun get number of processors std and there std see out talk play fun get page size std and there std see out talk play fun so this way you can use the functions i defined for example architecture std and there then i will put some messages here this is maximum application address minimum application address number of processors page size processor architecture now control f5 so we can find the result like this number of process is 4 you can find informations like this if you want to know how these functions are defined then click go to definition then this function get allocation granularity is defined like this also if you want some other function like get process architecture right click go to definition then this function is defined like this so we are using get system info windows api function also if you want to know full list of get functions right click go to definitions then you can find how print system info function is defined 
So in this list, you can find how to use these get functions. Now we will learn how to use this processor feature function here. SCD C out is processor. Sorry, it should be talk play pun is processor feature present. We have to provide it here this talk play pun processor feature. This is enumeration type so you can do like this talk play pun processor feature if we want to know if my machine supports 3d now instruction available std and there like this this function returns boolean value if we want to know click this then go to definition then you can find how this function is defined 3D now instruction available. I defined like this. STD C out talk play pun is processor feature present. Talk play pun processor feature SS E3 instruction available. CD and there SSE3 instructions available. I will arrange like this. So this is very ugly and this is very long to type. So we can change like this. We can modify like this using processor feature talk play pun processor feature. We define like this using statement. Then instead of doing this, we can say PF processor feature. We can make it shorter like this PF because we defined PF here. Once again, STD C out talk play pun is processor feature present. PF PF means processor feature. We can test more. For example. XMMI 64 instructions available SDD and there XMMI 64 instructions available now control F5 3D now instruction available zero means this feature is not supported SSE 3 instruction available 1 means it supports this way you can test more about processor features if you want to understand more about processor features right click go definition then you can test all these things all these features about processor I will put this script in the description section below click these links and this link and this link for more about the system information functions, please refer to this documentation. And also about the get system info function, please refer to this documentation. Also, is process feature present function, also please refer to this documentation. Also in this file, we can find the links of these MSDN documentations. Please refer these MSDN documentations. In future sessions, we will use these functions for multi-threading programming. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.